The storm track weather alert day is in effect for tomorrow as I'm tracking the threat for some strong storms that will be developing potentially in the afternoon with the second round moving in late tomorrow night. Already starting to feel the effects of this storm system we're keeping an eye on with temperatures only making it down into the upper 50s to around 60 degrees overnight. I am expecting us to stay windy and muggy for the morning. Election day forecast is going to be very warm starting off the day in the 60s warming up into the mid 80s by late afternoon. There will be a chance for some isolated storms that first round possible by mid to late afternoon. Along with the storm threat, we're going to have gusty winds throughout the entire day, just about all of mid-Missouri in a wind advisory that goes into effect tomorrow evening through Wednesday morning as wind gusts could get up to about 45 miles per hour. Something we're going to keep a close eye on during the day tomorrow is what we call the atmospheric cap. It's just a layer of warmer air that's likely to develop just above the surface, and that could limit storm development. So if that holds throughout the day, there's going to be a chance we don't see any storms developing at all. So if that holds in, and some of that warmer air, we will be a little bit luckier with that storm chance. But if storms can break through that cap, that's where we'll have that severe weather threat, especially north of I-70 into the afternoon. So it's just a warmer layer of air that looks like it's going to be holding through at least mid-afternoon. As we get into the afternoon tomorrow, this front's going to be well to our north. We'll see that low pressure center across parts of northern Illinois into Iowa. That's where the highest risk for tornadoes and hail will be in the afternoon. As we get into mid-Missouri, though, you'll see we'll track this here with future track. Starting off tonight, we could have a couple of those showers or storms right along the warm front, but not expecting much of that development to impact mid-Missouri tonight. Into the morning, we'll wake up to those warm temperatures and gusty winds. Definitely going to feel a little bit more of the humidity, too. Here's where we could end up with that severe threat in the afternoon. A couple of those storms could pop off after about 2 o'clock north of I-70 if we break through that warmer layer of the air. As we get into the later parts of the evening, likely going to have a bit of a lull or break in storms to where we don't see too much. Could have a little bit of development along I-44. A better chance of seeing more widespread storms around our entire area will come later in the evening right along the cold front. Those storms will have the potential of bringing strong to damaging winds overnight into very early Wednesday morning, moving through Columbia and Jefferson City sometime between around 2 and 4 a.m. and then working their way east between around 5 and 6 a.m. on Wednesday. Behind that cold front, it's going to be windy and cold as temperatures drop down into the 50s to start off the day. Here's what to expect for tomorrow. Main concern would be with that secondary line that could bring up to 60 mile per hour winds. That first round of storms will have the threat of quarter to golf ball size hail and the threat of a tornado. Flooding risk is going to stay low once again as these storms quickly move through. The rest of the week is looking quiet. I'm tracking highs near 60 degrees on Thursday and into Friday, but we will likely have some mornings too that will be dropping to near the freeze, freezing mark likely on Thursday and Friday morning. So make sure you're covering up any sensitive plants, but it does look like we're going to start warming up heading into the holiday weekend. Temperatures getting up into the 70s on Saturday and Sunday. Possibly seeing a few showers or storms on Sunday night, but don't rule out any egg hunts at this point. Something we'll be tracking closely as we get closer to the weekend.